Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dark Arm Duelist, and today we're doing a gimmick puppet deck profile. So I'm really excited to do some for you guys because this deck is an extremely powerful deck that even after the ban list can still FTK. So without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell there so you can come part of notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards, like in your name, description, your single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your Patreon. So without further ado. Let's get straight on into this. So first off, I'm playing three copies of Little Soldiers. Little Soldiers is definitely a three out in the villain. Probably the best summon in the entire deck is that this card is normal or special summon. You can actually send a gimmick puppet monster with a different level than this card from your deck to the graveyard, helping you get your level eights into the graveyard. And then this card's level becomes the level of that monster, also turning this card into a level eight, which is a great effect to be able to use to instantly get the exact level you want on this card while helping you get a monster in the graveyard. This card also has the ability to banish this card from your graveyard and then target up to two gimmick puppet monsters you control and increase your level by four until the end of the turn, basically making them level eights, which is a great effect to help you make some rank eight plays. We can play three copies of Rogue Doll. Rogue Doll is definitely a three of as well in the deck, with this card having a crazy powerful effect that if this card's in the hand, you're gonna be able to a gimmick puppet XZ monster in your extra deck and special summon both this card and a gimmick puppet monster with the same level as the revealed monster's rank from your deck, which is an awesome ability to get you two monsters out on your side of the field so you can make an XZ play. Also, this card is the ability of it sent to the graveyard, except from the hand, you can add this card to your hand, which is a crazy powerful effect to instantly grab this card to your hand if it touches the graveyard. We can play two copies of Terror Baby. Terror Baby is still the creepiest card in the entire game, and this card is great as a two of As when this card is normal summon, you can actually target a gimmick puppet monster in your graveyard and special summon it in defense system, but you can also banish this card in the graveyard, and your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to the activation of your gimmick puppet monsters, making it easier to FTK your opponent. We can play a single copy of Cattle Scream. Cattle Scream is really insane as a one of in the deck, just as a combo piece to basically just hand your opponent. As this card has the ability that you can detach your material from an XZ monster you control to special summon this card from your hand or graveyard, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use the effect of this card once per turn, and a gimmick puppet XZ monster that has this card as a material gains the effect that once per turn you can target a monster in your opponent's graveyard and special summon it to your opponent's field in defense system, which is a crazy powerful effect so we can pop it and do burn damage to the opponent. We can play a single copy of Bisk Doll. Bisk Doll is really good as an extender in the deck, which you only play this card as a one of in the build. As you can special summon this card from your hand by discarding a gimmick puppet monster, which is a really powerful ability. We then also play a single copy of Dreary Doll. Dreary Doll is definitely a one of in the deck to basically just use this card as an extender, because if this card's in the graveyard, you can manage one of their gimmick puppet monster from your graveyard to special summon this card from the grave, which is a really awesome ability to instantly get this card out on your side of the field. We then also play three copies of M. Seti. The Horus Engine is extremely powerful in this deck to be able to use. Basically just summon out your copy of M. Seti so that we can go in for, a, for more XZ plays because your Horus Engine is level 8. This card also surges King Sarcophagus, which is amazing, because if you control King Sarcophagus, you can actually bring back your Horus monsters from the graveyard with this card having the ability that you can send it and another card from your hand to the graveyard to search a copy of King Sarcophagus and draw a card, which is a really powerful effect. You then also play a single copy of Happy. Happy is just really good as a one of in the deck because you need to play two Horus names so you can bring them back to your side of the field to be able to go in for rank eight plays. We then also play for our cross out designator targets. We're gonna be playing a single copy of Ash Blossom to be able to basically stop Ash Blossom against us. If our opponent drops it, we can basically stop it with cross out designator. A single copy of Droll and Lockbird and a single copy of Nibiru. I feel like these are the most important cards besides Infinite Impermanence, which we're also playing in the deck to basically stop so we can FTK. These cards are very powerful against the deck and I feel like these are the best ones to be able to stop with cross out designator. So, so that's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get into the spells. So.
So for the spells, we're going to start with a single copy of Terraforming. Terraforming is really important to the deck as a 1-0 because you want to be able to get to your field spell as quickly as possible because the field spell is full combo to be able to FTK. We then also play a single copy of Set Rotation. Set Rotation is amazing the deck because it helps us get to our field spell while also handing our opponent a field spell, which is really nice. We then play a single copy of Called by the Grave. Called by the Grave is very important in the deck to basically just stop your opponent from hand trapping you while you're going in for all of your plays. We then also play three copies of Crossout Designator. Crossout Designator is extremely important alongside our copy of Called by. To make sure that we're not going to get hand trapped while we're going in for all of our plays, attempting to FTK. We can play just a single copy of King Sarcophagus. You only need a single copy in the deck because your copy of Imseti can search it, which is why we just play a single copy of this card in the build. We can play two copies of the Rank Up Magic Urgent Chaos Force. This card is very important in the deck to help us go in for all of our different XZ plays and turn them into chaos versions of them, which is very important to be able to play this card in the deck as a two of. And it's just a really good card overall in the deck to help us rank up our monsters. We can play three copies of Condolence Puppet. Condolence Puppet is absolutely broken in the deck because this card has the ability to let you send gimmick puppet monsters with different names from your deck to the graveyard up to the number of monsters that your opponent controls that were special summoned from the extract plus one. Meaning at minimum, we're going to be able to get a single foolish barrel off this card's effect. You can also banish this card from the graveyard, target a machine XZ monster you control, and it cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects while face up on the field, which is an awesome ability. We then play three copies of Mansion of the Dreadful Dolls. Mansion is definitely a three up deck because this card is full combo to be able to FTK your opponent still, which is absolutely insane. This card is even like when this card is activated, you get to add a gimmick puppet monster from your deck to your hand, which meaning this card is a rota for the deck. It also has the ability that gimmick puppet monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle and are unaffected by the activated effects of your opponent's monsters except their XZ monsters, which is a crazy power powerful effect. Also, once per turn, you can detach a material from an XZ monster you control, target a gimmick puppet monster in your graveyard, and special them into your opponent's field and defense position, which is a great effect to give your opponent a monster on their side of the field, so we can basically pop it and do burn damage. We then play a single copy of Walls of the Imperial Tomb, which is our other target for our copy of Set Rotation. This card is really important in the deck as a one-up, because this card counts as King Sarcophagus while on the field, and also during your main phase, you can add a Horus Monster from your deck to your hand, meaning this card can actually search M. Seti, which is pretty important for the deck. Also, you place a card from your hand on the bottom of the deck after you get that search. We then play three copies of Forbidden Droplets. Droplets is really good in the deck to basically just half the attack once your opponent's monsters and turn their entire field off, which is really nice to basically just negate their opponent's monsters effects, also helping us get monsters in the graveyard. So that's it for the spells, guys. Let's get into the traps. So for the traps, we're going to start with a single copy of Service Puppet Play. Service Puppet Play is really good as a one of in the deck. This card lets you target monsters that your opponent controls up to the number of Gimme Puppet XZ monsters you control and take control of those monsters into the end phase. And in this card's in the graveyard, except the turn it was sent there, and you control a gimmick puppet XZ monster, you can banish this card to be able to target a gimmick puppet or an XZ monster in either graveyard and special summon it to either field and defense system, which is a great effect to basically just hand your opponent a monster or bring back a monster to our side of the field, which is just really powerful. We then also play two copies of Infinite Impermanence. Infinite Impermanence is a really good card in the deck, but the deck is extremely tight, which is why I just play two copies in the build. Basically just stop our opponent's monster effects, but also be able to use this card as a cross-out designator target. So that's it for the main deck, guys. Let's get in to the extra deck. So for the extra deck, we're going to start off with two copies of Gimmick Puppet Machine X. Machine X is definitely a two of in the build, and this card is absolutely broken, letting you detach a material in this card to add a rank up magic spell from your deck to your hand, meaning we're going to instantly search out a copy of the Urgent Chaos Force. Also, you can normal summon a machine monster during your main phase this turn in addition to your normal summoner set, which is a crazy powerful effect. And if you special summon a Gimmick Puppet XZ monster, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card 
from the graveyard to either player's field and finishes them, then add a rank up magic spell from your graveyard to your hand, helping you grab your rank up magic back so we can rank up again. We then play two copies of its chaos form. This card is really good as a two of in the build as well. I said this card is special summon, you can add a puppet trap card from your deck to your hand, meaning we're going to instantly grab service puppet play, which is really nice. This card also has the ability you can detach and turn this card to special summon a monster from either player's graveyard to your opponent's field in defense system. And if a monster is special summoned to your opponent's field, except during the damage step, you can target one of them, destroy it, and if you inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the original attack points, helping us do more burn damage to be able to go in for game. We didn't play just a single copy of Gimmick Puppet of Strings. Unfortunately, this card did go to one on the most recent ban list. But this card is still really good in the deck to be able to do burn damage because once per turn, detach material on this card, place a string counter on each face up monster on the field except this card. If you do, during your opponent's next end phase, destroy the monsters with string counters on them. And if you do, inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent for each monster. But we also play a single copy of its Chaos form, which also went to one on the most recent ban list. This card is absolutely crazy, and how we usually FTK, and one of the most important pieces in the entire deck, that when this card is special summon, you destroy the monsters with string counters on them on the field, and if you do draw a card, then inflict damage to your opponent equal to the highest original attack among the destroyed monsters in the graveyard. Your choice if it's a tie, and once per turn, you can detach and turn this card to place a string counter on each face-up monster your opponent controls, which is a really powerful effect to do a lot of burn damage all at once. We can play two copies of Giant Grinder. Giant Grinder is just a great combo piece in the deck. As this card has the ability that up to twice per turn during the main phase, you can actually detach from turn this card, target a special monster your opponent controls, destroy it, and when it's XZ monster, inflict damage from it equal to its original attack points, which is a great ability to help you do more burn damage against the opponent. You can play a single copy of its Chaos Form Gimmick Puppet Giant Hunter. This card is great as a one of in the build and just an awesome card overall because once per turn, you can detach your material from this card to be able to target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. And if you do, and it was, uh, and if, if you do, and it's a monster, inflict damage to your opponent equal to its original attack points, doing more burn damage to your opponent, which is a crazy powerful effect. We can play a single copy of Gigantus Doll. Gigantus Doll is just a good combo piece in the deck that we can reveal to be able to get a monster out in our side of the field which is just really really good this card overall in the deck is important to be able to play just as one but we usually don't summon it we then play a single copy of sky prison sky prison is really good in the deck as one of and you have to play this card just as a one of in the build we then play a single copy of zeus to be able to board wipe the field this card is very important for the deck to basically just have a board wipe we then play a single copy of typhon typhon's really good in the deck overall to be able to play to basically just summon this card out to your side of the field going second just in case we need to and then we play two copies of Chimera Doll. Chimera Doll is amazing in the deck as a two of, as during your main phase, if you control this Link Summon card, you can activate this effect that you can special summon from the extract for the rest of the turn, except Machine XZ monsters. Also, you take a gimmick puppet monster in your deck and either add to your hand or send to the graveyard. Then, if all monsters you control are gimmick puppet monsters, which they are, you can special summon a gimmick puppet monster from your hand, which is a pretty cool effect to be able to use with this card's effect. And I love this card in the deck as a two of. So, that's it for the deck, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This deck is absolutely crazy. And it's insane that even after putting Gimmick Puppet of Strings and its Chaos form to one, this deck can still FTK, which is absolutely crazy. It's a little bit tougher to be able to FTK, which is why we're so reliant on the field spell, but it's really insane that this deck can still do it. So, if you guys have never played Gimmick Puppet, you should definitely give this deck a try. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell on there so you can come for our notification squad. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.